from St. George's ear, nose and throat team are analysing the scans of Emma's face and neck. It appears on the scan that you may have an injury to the front of your throat and that we need to have a look and see what effects that has had. The patient hit the side of the bus yeah. front window. Yeah. How's your health otherwise? Uh, dream of breast cancer a couple of years ago. She didn't ever want to wear a wig while she was going through treatment. She got a great big hematoma. Being determined that it wasn't going to beat her. Emma did take it all in her stride, really. Emma is one of those, those strong people you come across in life. She's always been uh, very positive, very much a heart on her sleeve person. Always looked to bring the best out of people. The new school term started last week for many kids, including the hundreds of pupils who've been permanently excluded. Many of these students end up in pupil referral units where they're given a last chance to turn things around. Earlier this year, Tara Welsh was given exclusive access to a referral unit in Sutton. I believe that proves one of the key indicators for pupil referral units and schools like Lyme's is to judge us on destinations. Where do the children and young people go to? And do they stick in those destinations? And are they becoming productive adults in our society? Thank you.